Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session I am going to share with you most easy method for object detection and object counting. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as I mentioned I am going to share with you how you can use most easy method for object detection and object counting. So let's get started. So for that, this is Windows 11 machine. Uh, you can use Windows 10 machine also. Simple. So just open Tony Python ID and go to the tools. And first, of course, we need our OpenCV package. So search for OpenCV-Python, OpenCV-Python and click on search on PyPy. So first one is our package and 4.7.0 this is the latest package as you can see i have already installed so we need to simply click on install button and it will install opencv latest version on our windows machine simple then next package is tensorflow so search for tensorflow and just click on search on pypy first one tensorflow again click on install button and it will automatically install tensorflow then we need uh, for object detection, we need CVLib. So search for CVLib, click on search on PyPy and just click on CVLib and just click on install button and it will install CVLib on our Windows machine. That's it. Then we are going to use here live CCTV camera frame. So we need a VidGear package and YTDLP package. So search for video, video, let's say video gear okay and click on search on pypy and here it is what our package with gear second one with gear so you can simply search no uh, you can simply search for with gear okay so with gear there is no need to uh, write like video gear simply the package name is with gear so click on with gear and as you can see i have already installed with gear so click on install button and it will install with gear then we need a yt dlp package because we are going to use a live cctv from youtube so yt hyphen dlp yt hyphen dlp click on search on pypy so first one is our package yt dlp click on install button and it will install yt dlp on our windows machine that's it so this is how you need to install opencv tensorflow cvlib then with gear and yt dlp on windows machine with the help of Tony Python ID. So I have already done with package installation. Now we need a repository. I have created here a basic code and I have shared the CCTV camera link. So uh, this is the repository object detection hyphen counting. I will mention link. You need to copy paste link inside the browser. Then go to the code and we are going to uh, download the zip format file. So we have download our file. Just click on show in folder. Right click and winrar so we are going to extract our folder so this is what our folder okay so what i am going to do i am going to close this tony python id and then object detection folder again same folder and i have as i mentioned i have already shared the basic code so just click on the main.py and it will automatically open our python script with the help of tony python id so import cv2 then import cvlib as a cv as i mentioned we install cvlib so we need to call our model so first cv2 model then cvlib as cv then from cvlib.object detection we are going to import draw b box method because we want to draw the bounding box on our object okay then we install with gear for uh, live frame so from with gear dot gears import cam gear and stream cam gear inside that I have mentioned the source link of our frame of our live CCTV camera simple then stream mode is equal to true then login is equal to true then count is equal to zero uh, here we are going to skip some frame after we detect the object okay but right now we don't want to skip here frame so right now what I am going to do I am going to comment this uh, skipping frame method so just comment uh, from count to continue okay and then uh, same method as we always do a cv2 resize method then we are going to resize the frame basically and then im show method and then wait key and then cap dot release and cv2 dot destroy all windows simple so this is how uh, we are going to uh, basically 
uh, call our frame. So, here I forget to mention uh, there is no need to cap dot release because we are going to use here stream. So, simply change the cap with stream because we are going to use here stream is the variable there is no cap. So, we are going to mention stream dot release simple. So, if I save the code and if I run the code it will uh, start the live CCTV camera where we have some traffic ok. So, it started basically. And as you can see, this is what our live CCTV. We have your person, we have your uh, cars, and all the traffic. So, as I mentioned, uh, we are going to detect first object. Simple. So, this is the basic code which I have already shared with you, where uh, we, where we have a live CCTV frame. Now, what we are going to do, as I mentioned, this is the easiest method for object detection. Now, what we are going to do after where we resize our frame. Okay. After that, simply we want to mention here, we need our B box. So, first mention B box variable, then we need our label. Okay. Label, then what else we want? We want a confidence of detection. These three variables, B box, label and conf. Then, we are going to use our method, cv.detect common objects. Okay. Uh, here object detection we are going to use from this import civilib as cv from cv we are going to use detect common object method ok. So, here we are going to mention cv dot detect underscore common common underscore objects ok. cv dot detect underscore common and objects this is the method and inside that we need to simply pass our frame that is it we have done. Now, we have B box label and cons. So, simply we are going to draw the bounding box on our frame. So, we need to mention frame then we are going to use here our draw B box method ok. So, draw B box simply draw and just go B box and what we want here? We want our frame because we are going to draw the bounding box or on our frame. So, frame and then we need to mention all these three variables. So, first one is our B box, B box, then label and then conf. That is it we have done. So, if I save the code and if I run the code, And boom, as I mentioned, how much code we write? We because I have already shared the basic code where we have frame, and then we only write three lines where we mention uh, three variables, which is B box label and con, then cv dot detect common objects method. Inside that we simply pass our frame and then we use a draw B box method from our civil frame draw B box, frame B box label conf, and then we have uh, object detection as you can see we have object detection the car the person ok. So, as I mentioned this is really easy way to detect objects. Now, we detect objects now what uh, uh, we are going to do here we need to increase some frame rate. So, for that for that I have mentioned here we are going to skip some uh, frames ok. So, let us just skip 6 frames if I save the code and if I run the code, and now as you can see, it's really good. Okay, it's really good. It's really fast. So we detect the object. Now we are going to count the object. Simple. What we are going to do? Just a minute. We have here a label. So, we are going to use a count method that is it. We are going to use here label with count method. So, after where we uh, where we draw a B box again we are going to create here a new variable which is C. So, C is equal to we can say uh, we, we are going to first count the cars. 
so we can say here from label so our label label this one label dot count that's it label dot count and what we what basically we want to count here we want to count a car so simply we want to mention our object name car that's it so now if I print a car or let's say we are going to we use here a put text method so cv2 dot put text cv2 dot put text okay and we are going to put the text on our frame so let's mention frame and then what we want to put we want to put our c so str string str inside that we are going to pass over c and then uh, we are going we need to mention the coordinates where we want to put our text so let's say 50 60 50 60 and then we need to mention our font so cv2 uh, cv2 dot uh, font font harshe cv2 dot font underscore harshe then again underscore let's make a plane so plane and then we need to mention scale so let's say three and then we need to mention color so let's make a white all the way white and thickness we are going to mention three simple so now it will put the count text on our frame so if i save the code if i run the code and as you can see 19 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now we have 9 7 basically it's detecting the object and it's counting the object at live in live time in real time so right now we have 10 9 cars okay right now we have 10 cars now 11 okay so as I mentioned this is a really easy method for counting the objects in real time so now we have seven cars one two three four five six and this one is seven seven cars now we are going to count the person so let's say same way p is equal to our label label dot count and inside that what we want to count we want to count our person so mention person and the same way just copy the put text method and put the text and we are going to simply change c with p the c with p and let's say 90 and here we are going to say 85 so if i save the code and if i run the code So as you can see we have basically now 11 or 12 it's it's increasing and it's decreasing because when it's detected the object then it will count so let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so as you can see here we have 14 17 15 person so it's detecting the object and it's counting the object in real time as I mentioned this is really easy method for counting the objects in real time okay so I hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye